All right. We're keeping the happy flag up because it makes me happy. <laughs> so, I, I read this article about Janine Garofalo. was on some feminist radio podcast program. Bust Magazine's program, Cherry Pop or whatever. I don't even fucking know it. The Pop Tarts, I don't, I don't even fucking know. Whatever, some dumb banal podcast. So... I read that she was on this podcast talking about Louis C.K. And she was defending Louis C.K. And I thought that that would probably be very interesting to listen to. And boy, wasn't it. <laughs> like, it really wasn't all that interesting at all. There's some weird psychology going on in here, and we're going to go through it. But for the most part, oh my god, it's just, it's just awful radio. Like, just... So, I feel bad for Janine Garofalo, kind of. Uh, I, I, you might be able to tell from the title of this, you know, res respect. Usually, whenever I do these, it's respect plus something, but I, you know, I just, I couldn't, you know, it's respect. <laughs> like, it, you know, there, there's a lot of things going on in here. So, we'll get into some of it. A lot of it I've cut for timing purposes. I didn't, I didn't want to fucking take too long going through this. It's an hour long podcast, and. D fucking 60 minutes of it was just terrible. So we'll go through the five that at least had something in it. <laughs> Here we go. Do you feel that comedy is activism in the age of Trump? And what can we do to fight the power in a way that's funny and not like so fucking ponder? See what I mean? Like these are the kind of questions, just terrible questions. How do we uh, be comedians and fight the power in the age of Trump and be funny and not ponderous? Well, let me think. Uh, I, I'm going to go with uh, be funny and not fucking ponderous. Like, how far do you need that spelled out? Which means fight the powers that are being pieces of shit. You don't know which side that is. That's why nobody thinks you're funny. And everybody thinks you're ponderous. Christ. When it comes to the Me Too movement, I think it's okay to question the source. It should transcend gender. It's human rights. Because if you don't, anyone can be accused of anything at any time. And if you're not allowed to question, I, I can say right now, I've got pictures of you molesting a child. Don't question me. Don't question me. You know what I mean? Like, don't question the questioner. It, then it's a Twilight Zone episode. And I think in any movement, for human rights, you got to transcend gender, and you must consider who's making the accusation, why, and yeah. when, because it matters. Context matters. See, I love that. That's great. It's great to hear from Janine Garofalo, and I'm so happy that I can give this to you as the first example of Janine Garofalo, <laughs> because for me, I had to sit through like ten minutes. I don't. Even, oh wait, fuck! It was like a half an hour. What? How long? It's like a half an hour of fucking just. But we'll get into it. <laughs> and I do believe that you shouldn't put up with when people call Trump voters decent, hardworking Americans. They're decent nothing. They're, there's nothing decent about them. See, this is why I don't really talk about it on the stage and stand up. I mean, actually, I do say it basically this way, and I get the same thing. People in comedy clubs don't like it. They don't like it for the most part. And it's because the people in comedy clubs feel like you're talking to them. Right? You don't understand that you are very much in a minority. The minority that you think you're in, it's actually much smaller than that. You have no clue, apparently, how small of a minority you're in. That's why it doesn't go over. Because you're ponders. <laughs> but your stand-up is you giving your opinions. So. Right, well, these aren't opinions. As I said again, they, they, they are. You, you would agree these are straight up facts, but they. I, but it's true, it's not an opinion. I mean, there, there is, there's not two sides to every story, right? Well, your stand up is yes. holding forth. Like. She has a premise, she has a thought out premise for this idea. She kind of understands it to a degree 
and then totally doesn't get it. Observe. Some, some there is, but there isn't two sides. Like to, homosexuality is, is, you can pray the gay away. That's not two sides to a story. That you're flat out wrong. Now what? Now I believe in the power of prayer, but I don't believe that uh, God is a person, uh, a being that mind controls people. So to say I'm going to pray that God make you be a certain way, well that is you praying for God to give away the greatest gift that he gave us, which is free will. And I don't think that God would do that. So I would say, yeah, yeah, pretty much no, not going to happen. And for anybody who's praying to God to not make them gay, again, you have to think about what you're doing here. Why would God do that? <laughs> like you, you make your own decisions, man, or you be the way that you just fucking are, the way that you just feel that you are, however you're most comfortable. You got one life to live. Live it. Live it the way you want, want it to be lived. Like, it's yours. It's your life. <laughs> so, I, I can kind of agree with her on that. I, I, I agree with her on that one. But... Right, w women shouldn't have uh, reproductive justice. That's flat out wrong. That's not, that's not two sides. Now see, that's a far more complex issue now, isn't it? <laughs> like, there, there's a hell of a lot more going on in that. Murdering babies is the perspective of a lot of people. And when you cut it down to its basis nature, that's what it is. And you can disagree with that all you want. You can dress it up however you want to make it, make it a human rights issue to take away human rights from people who don't even realize that they should have them. Whatever. You know, you call it what you want, but nevertheless, it, it's a far more complex issue than there's just one side. We should be able to kill as many babies as we wish. Under whatever circumstances we wish. And no, I would say that there's a lot more sides to that. And a lot of those sides that you're ignoring are the sides of women! <laughs> what about the Me Too movement, Time's Up movement? Have you seen any, like, specific shift Have in you that not regard? been listening to a word I said about the Twilight Zone uh, thing I and the transcending have. genders? <laughs> I mean, please. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But these are my, you know, these are my bust-centric questions. I ask all stand-up comedians this. And Jesus Christ, really? You... Man, you can't just sit down and talk to Janine Garofalo. Like, you're a feminist podcast, you have Janine Garofalo on, and you can't just sit down and talk feminism, fucking, like, current event feminism shit with You need, like, forum questions? Hey, uh, Janine Garofalo, she's a, uh, she's a, what, comedian? And kind of a movie star, but she's mostly just a comedian now. Uh, get, get the, uh, comedian forum questions, please. Uh, it's under C for comedian. No, 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 no. No, not, not movie star. No, she's not really... She's just kind of a comedian now. We're just going to ask her the comedian questions. The movie questions might embarrass her. Like, fuck, really? That's... <laughs> just the questions I ask all comedians. If I had Janine Garofalo on my... If she was sitting right here next to me on the couch, first of all, I'd have to move a whole lot of shit. Secondly, I would just sit and talk to Janine Garofalo, like we would just sit and have a conversation. So, you know, feminist, right? <laughs> like, you know, be like, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit hot and a little bit sweaty right now and my hair is kind of prickly because I don't, you know, I don't really know how this is gonna go. And like, that would kind of be how I'd break the ice. And then, you know, oh, she'd be like, oh, no, 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 I, I really don't like to, you know, fight and all that sort of, so I don't like to fight either, you know, you know and like, you know, we'd go from there. So, you know, what do you think about things going on right now? And then we would just have a fucking conversation. And sit there and ask. Four. Okay, so you're a, uh, you're a, you're a, you're a comedian, huh? Here we go. So what's comedy like these days? Fucking, are you shitting me? Fucking podcast. And I have no guests. <laughs> of course, I don't really invite anybody on the show either. <laughs> Some no, no, I know. I, yes, I, 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 I thought. I thought when I, I, I'm sorry, I cut you off. What was your question? And then, and then, if I did answer it already, I'm gonna be a real asshole about it. Jesus Christ, Janine, way to fucking de-escalate the situation. Fucking hell.
No, I mean, I'm kidding. I'm I guess you kind of did. I, I just am wondering if, you know, there was such like this media explosion about Time's Up and Me Too and specifically Louis C.K. and these things are happening in green rooms and this is a hostile I think Louis C.K., I'd leave Louis C.K. alone. Enough with that. And again, and I, 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 there are so many issues we got to be motivated on. I think he is, but he's been my friend and I stand by that. He's been my friend since 1985. Wow. And I think he has suffered and, and, and when he performs at the Comedy Cellar and people get all irate, if, if you... Do you, if, if nothing else, care about his daughters. If nothing else, if you can find no compassion for him, which I think you should, think about how his daughters, who hear all of this stuff, feel. Why don't you leave him alone for them if you're so women empowering? And Now, see, there's a lot going on in that. That was a long clip. There's a lot going on in it. Louis C.K. and her have been friends for a very long time. Now, she's personally invested in this. And what do we know about what happened to Louis? It was bullshit. Yes, these girls, if they were willing to let him jerk off in front of them, they said yes. And then they said, oh, we don't mean that anymore. Like, it, it was such a bullshit fucking thing. The whole fucking thing of it was bullshit, right? And she knows it. But she only really kind of knows it, I think, because she's invested in Louis C.K. They're friends. I think that if she'd never fucking met Louis... I think she'd be right there with him. I, I gotta say that. I, I really do. I really honestly fucking do. To to say moments before, uh, there's nothing decent about Trump voters. <laughs> like a lot of the other fucking shit. For me to think that there's any fucking way in hell that she would be as on his... And that's why it's just respect. Because it's like she said it. There you go. But I, I just... Ugh, she's invested in it. But... How, I mean, that was a great point. You know, he has two daughters, I believe two daughters, and I'm fairly sure that they would be like teenagers by now. So they're old enough to kind of understand what the fuck is going on, right? Like, they they probably get it. And that's got to kind of fuck with them a little bit because that's kind of embarrassing, and I'm sure that they get that shit at school. You did jerk it off Friday night. Like, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, you know, that, that's that got to fuck with them a lot. And they're girls, so a lot of guys are probably going to say that to them thinking that they're just busting balls. But it's like these Louis' daughters, you know, the girls don't really do that, you know, so they're going to probably be upset about that shit. And, you know, you keep driving that shit fucking forward, and every time the man tries to come out and do anything, it's just like, bring it all up again. And it's like, God damn, like... But, how is this responded to? Very interestingly, I think. And by the way, this isn't your fight. You know what I mean? If it's your fight, then it's your fight. I believe that it's between the people that, that are, are dealt, you know, that, that, that took issue with him. It isn't for, people get so upset, and then I want to know if they write their congressman. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, do you but get this? all the women that he flapped his dick on, don't you? You know what? It, you know what? It isn't all the women, and, and it, it's, this is one but of those things. We are still talking about this when there are so many other things. So why and you should weren't... I have sympathy for someone because they have a daughter? They're... And there you go, man. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't women. It isn't fucking feminism. It isn't fucking quality horse shit. It isn't any of that. It's the fight. They're in it for the fight. Doesn't fucking matter. If these girls grow up fucked up, doesn't matter to them. They don't care, cause it's the fight. Louis did wrong in their eyes, and they don't care about the details. It doesn't fucking matter to them, and they don't care about the perspective of it and what what the fuck the perspective of it is. So we'll treat them like Harvey Weinstein, because why the fuck wouldn't we? Except you know Louis never did anything like that. Like fucking Christ. So it's it's. This is it, ladies. This is your feminist show. They don't care about you unless you're a victim. And they don't see you as a victim if you're attached to somebody that they see as a perpetrator. You're, it's impossible for you to be a victim, even if you are. There you go. That's your... That's your 
Let's all be a feminist. You're not a feminist? <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> Two daughters, just mind, you, because you don't understand, because you don't understand what it is like to be a public pariah, because it's not happened to you. You don't understand what it's like to have people in the street yell he things. He chose terribly. to be a public person, and then he chose to take advantage of that. Also, I don't think you know the full story about some of the, and you know, and nobody talks about on stage in their stand-up more than him everything he's ever done. Throughout that whole time, I don't want to get caught up in this because clearly yeah, you take yeah, a, yeah. a strong position on this, and it and it doesn't win me any friends. It's like talking about Israel. See, and that again this is really funny because it's like, wake up, Janine. Who do you think it is that's giving you shit over this? It isn't Louis supporters. It's all your leftist friends that are giving you shit over this. And that's why you don't like it. You don't want to talk about it for very long. You certainly don't want to get too deep into it. Because you don't want to upset all of your fans. Your shitty fans. But hey, keep towing the company line, man. But I do believe... Uh when you're a friend with someone and if you think that they have suffered, I don't believe in kicking a person when they're down. I mean, you could still be friends with someone, but you could also still acknowledge what they did. It's not mutually exclusive. Uh, did yeah, I say I didn't know. acknowledge what they did? I'm yeah, just saying. I mean, and also, are there no other issues? Are there no, oh, you know, he seems to be. Task. We can multitask. But I the do thing not, is, why? Why? What is, this, what is, no your, other what is your stake shit. in it? That people want to keep to going back. To let people back. know they can't just rip their dick out in front of do, people because do you they can. That is the stake. Noted. And I'd go as far as to say that 99% of the time it doesn't happen. So, that's pretty good. Like, you're in the odds of, well, it's just assholes at this point. Like, you, you're there. Some people are just not going to stop with. But I think Louie's not going to do this anymore. I, I think he's learned his lesson. <laughs> so, let the man be. Let him fucking do his shit. I mean, it, whatever. So I think I have when a I feeling. walk in a room and you have a bigger position than me, mm -hmm. that you don't just get to wag your dick at me because you can't. Okay, That's the first state. of all, for it's every that, time I not, walk that's in a not room. what what he every time you walk in the room did you hear her just say every time I walk every time you walk every time you walk in a room every time you walk in a room people are just whipping their wow you live a very interesting life you should really film that and make sure that people see that you're you're a multimedia type person you got a fucking podcast if every time you walk in the room guys are whipping their dick out first of all I doubt it I don't know what you look like, but I doubt it. But uh, fuck. Did there are well, and also you weren't there. You were very. Do you, I don't think you were. You were not. No, this but is I not. You wasn't mind. in the Iraqi war to know that wasn't cool. Like, well, I don't need to molest a woman to know it's not a good thing to do, and that's why I don't do it. And I would say that that is a sentiment that ninety-nine percent of men are going to echo. But you're always going to have a percentage of them that are just not going to give a fuck enough to, to, to say that. And then you're going to have another percentage of them that are lying. <laughs> you know? And then you're going to wind up, and that's going to be the amount of men, the percentage of men that are pieces of shit. And we all acknowledge that. We do. All the time. What do you want? This, is so, this is so unfair because it's another thing where people get bullied. I feel progress well, is thwarted when anyone says what I, because believe me, the, the pushback I get when I've discussed this before, when people it. ask me about it, feels so unjust to me. And you want to know why it feels unjust? It's because you're not following everybody else's line. And it's that one thing that you're not just in lockstep with the rest of your fucking brainwashed group. Like, Jeannie Garofalo is a smart lady. 
She's very stupid in many ways. She has very stupid opinions and very dumb ideas. But she's a smart lady. She should be smart enough to figure this shit out. Dude, God damn it. Get a fucking computer. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a reference to something else in the show that I have. And I cut this up. There was a couple of sections that I cut out. Like, one of the questions... You know, it was interesting for a while, and it, it, it started to just kind of trail off into banal fucking nonsense, and, and it, it, this is five minutes out of an hour fucking thing, so bear that in mind. I tried to keep as much of the spirit of what was going on. Mostly what I wanted to talk about was just what she was saying about Louie and everything that she was getting back from the other chicks on the fucking show. You know, talking about that, that was really the whole focus. Everything else that I talked about, I just kept in because it was, uh, you know, I'm just like, to kind of just show a little bit of what Janine was saying too, so that you could get the you know. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to paint Janine Garofalo as just this great, great lady that's fully on the Louis train and that makes her cool and shit. She's pretty shitty in most ways. Again, you know, respect, but <laughs> as far as it goes, you don't get bonus respect for shit. Cause fuck, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Yeah, Janine Garofalo, defending Louis C.K. I thought that was very interesting. I, I thought the whole thing was interesting. I thought the whole interaction was interesting. There, like, I, I didn't keep it in, but, like, as it goes on, like, the, she brings it up an, another two or three times that she's very upset about that whole interaction right there. The whole, like, I guess, fight or whatever between her and that other lady. She's very upset about that, like, the whole rest of the show. So... Yeah, she's <laughs> like Jean Grovel, she's she's a little neurotic. She's a comedian, you know. They're all broken. We're all broken, and uh, you know whatever. Uh, and and yeah, that's what makes people funny that they're broken enough to see the humor in life. But eh, I I would love to. I would like to hear her do the the Harvey Weinstein gave me a sweater bit because I could see that being very fucking funny. I could see that being a bit performed properly. Uh, I could see that being a very funny bit. And he gave me a sweater. And then I heard about everything else that he was giving to other girls. And I was like, well, it's a very nice sweater. But <laughs> I could have got felt up a little bit. Like, Jesus, come on. Like, I could see that being a very funny bit. But I don't know if she does the bit that way. <laughs> I don't know. But I would like to see her do that bit. I think it would be funny to see her do that bit. So, yeah, whatever. But, yeah, I don't know. And there was another part that I thought was kind of funny where she was talking about all of this all of this wonderful comedy that you can find that's not even in comedy clubs. And I'm like, what is she talking about? And then they were asking her about that, and then she starts listing off all these actual clubs that she's performing at. And then she's like, and on the weekends, you know, there's these great places that you can go to find comedy that aren't comedy clubs. And I'm like, yeah, like the local VFW and shit? Yeah, of course, you know. But that doesn't mean that... That's just the place where you, you just... You'll pay five bucks. Like, <laughs> you know, I, whatever. So, I, it made me laugh. I, it's, it's sad. Janine was so huge at one point, and It's just kind of like, hmm. Shucks. The monster, man. Eats you up and shits you out. And everybody's just lining up to jump back in the mouth. Janine, too. We're all in line. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's, it was just, it was odd to hear her say everything she was saying about Louie and all the other shit she was saying too. And it's just like, what the fuck? So, eh. I don't know. There you go. Janine Garofalo, everybody. Respect. Respect. <laughs>